Yo, what is up guys? It's there just cause here once again here with the UPS F1 Racing League and today we are here race 7 at the historic Monaco Grand Prix. It's going to be a fun one today. Uh this is going to be definitely an interesting race, you know, last season. Uh it's one of the races that are always going to be chaotic, short, tight race track, a lot of collisions, a lot of cars going to be on top of each other today. Maybe also quite a bit amount of crashes, you never know. So right now, so we're loading in for qualifying here as my as I'm trying to put out links right now. I'm going to put links out to the chat. Um you know, right now we're having a, a good a uh, good season so far. Six races in already. Gotten a good amount of winners. Uh, especially after the crazy race at um at Imola about yesterday. That that was a crazy race. So, so here we go, and then I'm just going to play in a couple discords, and we should be fine. So as qualifying has started, this is going to be interesting to see what happens here for qualifying, especially when it's Monaco. Um, should be interesting as uh, MC's pulling out. MC has won one race this season. That one race this season was at um, Jeddah race one. The, the, the debut of Jeddah in the series he won. He's here today, you know, hasn't really shown up for many races. I think he showed up for race one and two, and then, you know, we hadn't seen from him. Now he's here. Should have a good um, should have a good start for this one. It's right now, got some cars rolling out on the grid. So, or on the track, I should say, not the grid, but on the track. There we go. Okay, links are out. Is uh JT Burger Bun Bun? What's up, man? JT's up in chat. And remember, after this race, we're gonna be doing FK at Iowa tonight. So go. Also, that's a good reminder right there. Doing FK at Iowa right after this race. I would say probably about maybe 30 minutes, 20 minutes, depending on how long this race is gonna take here in Monaco. Should be a, a fine, a quick race at Monaco, hopefully. Hopefully, I say. Hopefully, because, you know, I'm, I'm hoping. What's up? What's up, JT? What's up, uh, Top Shelf? Top Shelf's also uh, up here, or on here as well. As uh, MC's putting in pits. There's Caesar trying to get out on a lap. Oh, getting a little loose. Oh, yeah, not good for the Red Bull. Not how you want to start it. Top shelf starting his lap. I like myself a little F1. <laughs> yeah, who doesn't? Who doesn't? Who doesn't? So you can see Top Shelf starting his lap here. Red Bull crashed out at Imola. See if he can get a rebound. See what happens here today for him is, you know, like I said, he's trying to get a rebound after Imola crashed out of Imola. Wasn't his fault, according to him. It was a uh, CEO car. Uh, CEO said that he, I don't think, I don't think we interviewed CEO yesterday, but let's hold on, boys. There we go. As I'm pulling lasagna out of the stove, it's going to need to cool off. Ooh, and it's steaming too. Ooh. Just pull the lasagna out of the stove. Should be cooling down now. Let it cool down for a little bit. Before we eat. It's lasagna. Lasagna. Oh. Okay. That kind of burned me. Kind of burning me, but it's also kind of yeah. It's a little bit cold. I'll put it in the I'll put it in the oven for a couple more. So you got qualifying still going on. I think somebody just retired out of the session. Okay, so while that's warming up, it's a little cold in the center. 
I'm just going to grab myself some to drink while we're in this qualifying session. Who's got pole? Right now, pole sitter is currently Jonah, 112-118. Dang, they fast. <laughs> yeah, they are fast. Believe me. They are very quick around here at Monaco. As you can see right now, Top Shell still trying to put down a better lap than a 114. Now, caution Sector 3. And Top Shell's just going to bring it down pit road. Yeah, that final corner. This final sector is going to be very difficult because you know a lot of cars tend to get loose especially uh right there in that corner before uh, after the entry of pit road a lot of cars seem to get loose right there as nv's coming down there's mc on his lap rowdy tj currently out there i'm, I'm shitty mate <laughs> God, okay, top shelf. You know how we got on um, Despacito for call uh, for saying mate a lot? Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, you're about to get in that same habit. <laughs> oh, it's right now we're on board with CEO Car. Him and top shelf got beef. And I'm talking Angus steak beef. I'm talking. I'm talking about a, a two, two for 22 steak and a steak dinner beef. I'm talking about that. <laughs> Is uh yeah, Ferrari's gonna get uh, disqualified this lap. It's like I'm saying, CEO car and Top Shelf they got beef, and you know I don't know if it's gonna spill over. This race, but MC 111 881 is gonna put him on pole right there. What a lap there by the uh, Aston Martin. The Aston Martin up front already. It's only qualifying. So, doing right now, of course. While we're in a mid mid break right now, I gotta shout out the YouTubes because you know the YouTube we're gonna be uploaded to YouTube. Also, you can go watch other of our F1 races on YouTube. We just uploaded the crazy finish at Imola yesterday. We also have the crazy finish at Bahrain. I recommend to go check those out on the YouTubes because those finishes were crazy. I didn't realize, but why does, um, why does the layout of Monaco look like a weird looking hatchet? You know, like sector three and sector and the front straight look like the handle. And then, um, the rest of the track kind of looks like a blade. Kind of looks like a weird blade. I don't know. MC, oh my god, MC, 111-292. Man's putting down laps. Man's putting down laps. He's out of fuel, too. There's Jonah. Right now, he's out front. Or he's in that second spot on mediums, too. See, yeah, that's the corner I'm talking about. People can get very loose. It's like the car gets light right there. Here we go. Jonah, what a good corner right there. Up through here, through sector one, about to go into sector two here. Good corner, good corners. Sector two right here. Didn't run a fast sector one. Now this is going to be a very difficult corner. This is going. To, this is one of my worst corners when I raced here. I hated that hairpin. Here we go. Let's see. We go through the bridge, under the bridge, and then out through the uh, the bus stop. Bus stop is where a lot of people are going to get quarter cutting. This track is definitely going to be the track where a lot. Of oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Your lap's ruined, Jonah. Jonah, your lap is ruined unless you somehow improve. 
Yeah, that right there. Yeah, got gets a little bit loose. Can he beat the time? Oh, he got an improved time. 112. 052 gonna put him still second it's just a little bit of an improvement of a time but I mean if he didn't hit the wall a couple times I think he could have been fine mm. hey right now Alpine had a good season so far there's redneck hits the wall yeah just come in just come in yeah you you already messed up your lap. There's CEO Car's teammate. Oh, taps that wall. Taps the wall. <laughs> Hits the wall. <laughs> that man's getting hit like a ping, like a ping pong ball, bro. Dude, the wall just did a NASCAR Heat Five. Oh, bam! Oh, well, he's he's crashed. That's their signal of hey. By the way, I'm done with qualifying. You know, I'm just going to DNF it. Chan here on a lap. Fastest lap was a 114.044. Kind of disappointing. Chan didn't win last race. Um, pulled the insane dive bomb on the final corner. Spun out. Got fourth. Didn't even get podium from his dive bomb. So we got beefs. So Caesar and Chan got beef. Um, CEO and Top Shelf have beef. Um, and everyone else has beef with this track. So, you know, beef is everywhere today. I mean, we got beef everywhere. We got burgers. We got steak. We got roasts. We got beef. Beef everywhere. Let's see how Chan does it here. Good turn one. Up through the, uh... Little, little, uh, I like to say it the straight away because you can really go straight here. You don't have to turn. We go oh, purple sector one from the Mercedes. Oh, here we go. Chan trying to put down a lap right here. He's trying to beat MC's time. Here we go. Through under the bridge. Bus stop, got to be careful here. Makes it through clean. He's got to negotiate a bunch of corners. Fast sector two. Oh, he's got to do it. Can he hit sector three perfectly? Oh, he gets a little loose. Perfect. Is he going to beat the time? No, what eleven three seven zero short. Wow, that was close. Tunnel is, is <laughs> the Detroit Lions are better than the tunnel. God, come on. What are you talking about? Right now the tunnel can go out to Detroit and beat the Lions. What are you talking about, Top Shelf? What do you mean? What do you mean by that? So right now as we're currently um, still under qualifying by the way. We got about five minutes remaining. I'm gonna check my I'm gonna check my lasagna um, when um when uh, we hit at least uh, three three minutes in quality. See what happens here. Ooh, top shelf on his lap, or on his out lap, I should say. See Rowdy in the pits. Chan's gonna retire. So unless somehow Redneck, Top Shelf, Rowdy, and Bear Down can run the fastest laps of their life, uh, I don't know if. Uh, I don't know if anybody can beat MC now because Chan just retired. Here we go. This is his outlap too, so. There we go. 
Oh, you gotta be careful with that corner, not getting too tight on that uh, corner. You can actually clip that and spin yourself out. Here we go, in the one! Oh, the, yeah, Top Shelf sent that in the third one. <laughs> top Shelf just sent it. I mean, damn. Yeah, Red Bull currently, can he run a fast sector one? No. Okay, oh, way wide in the hairpin. Oh, it's, oh, <laughs> top shelf, man. And he's retired. He buffed it. That's what he did. He buffed it. He buffed the corner. See now, um, a bear down on a lap. Let's see what bear down's got. He's got a caution where MC letting them by. Around that hairpin he goes. Honestly, <laughs> after this track. Oh, here comes bear down. Can he put down a lap time that can beat MC? The Williams tried, uh, got wrecked or wrecked himself. Uh, last race at Imola. I had a shot at the win, too. He had a shot, just took uh, one corner too hard and spun himself out off exit. But what can the Williams do out of the final corner? Oh, he's not even gonna. Oh, oh, he gets pulled! One, eleven, one, oh my god, he went on top of the barriers. <laughs> One eleven one seven seven puts him on the pole. What a pole from the Williams. Um, I, I do want to charge the Williams with um, attempted homicide. He did almost kill the two safety workers that were right there. <laughs> That yeah, man was oh, almost went over the barriers, bro. Attempted homicide. Charge him. Charge him. Oh, Sniper Hyper is joined. So Sniper Hyper is going to be in the race. Might not put down a time. Yeah, I don't think he's got enough time to put down a time. Got more people joining as well. Here we go. Oh, he's flying. He's flying, guys. Oh, God. He's going to get pole with a 110. He has to. The man is flying. The man is flying. The man. Oh, just short. Wow. Just short of pole. Oh, he's trying. He's flying, though. He's trying his best to get Paul here. I mean. Um, oh, we got 24 seconds. This is going to be his final lap. Oh, here we go. Through the tunnel. So, yeah, Rowdy TJ Boy is not going to put down a lap time. Here we go. Oh, messes up the bus stop. Oh, he's trying. He's trying. Oh, God. He's getting close to these walls. Oh, he power slides. Wow, he just power slid the whole corner. Here we go. Is it going to be close? Yes, he got it. What a lap time! <laughs> the man literally did a Dukes of Hazard power slide for pole with a 111, 123. I mean, that man power slid. I mean, 
That man, Dukes a Hazard, you know, off-road, just jumped off a ramp, sliding. Slaps Halo, this car can fit a lot of broken wing. Hmm. <laughs> Bro. That's all I gotta say is bro. Well, as there's your results from qualifying. I mean, that was... That was too much. Even for me, that was a little too much. I mean, that man power slid. <laughs> I mean, he power slid and tapped the wall. And still got pulled. <laughs> Well, this Monaco race is about to be more intense than ever. <laughs> so, as we're currently loading in. To the race here. We're going to go lights out at any moment here for the Monaco Grand Prix. It's going to be an exciting one. Who's going to win? So here we go. So we're currently loading in. Everybody's picking their strategies. I'm not at my phone right now because I'm currently cutting out some lasagna. Hey, here we go. Lights out. And away we go as the Aston Martin jumps the start. Oh, oh, they're all crashing. Okay. Oh, my God. Yo, okay, I know we're backing out. I know we have to be backing out. There's no way. We just had... Yeah, we're backing out. Oh, my God. Yeah, we're backing out, folks. I, I guess uh, we're backing out because somebody couldn't get in because of, you know, they couldn't join qualifying probably, so it didn't register them in the race. So it's probably why we're going to back out here. Um... All I gotta say is this, um, wow. <laughs> well, you wanna talk about, yo, if that happens in the race, I mean, those were some violent hits. <laughs> I mean, those were some violent hits. I mean, he hit the wall, so they hit the wall violently, too. It's like... There we go. Okay, so we're backing out. Thankfully. Just give me one second, y'all. Okay, so I'm assuming we're waiting for the invite. That's why I'm I haven't backed out yet. Oh, there we go. Okay, now I gotta wait until he's done. <laughs> until he's done with his pace slab, I guess. Oh, I need a fork. So yeah, I can care, can't. I don't know. So we're backing out. Oh my god, I did not expect that of a start. I mean, those were some violent hits. Well, I guess I gotta wait for an invite. Those were some vi- I mean, I knew we were backing out after, you know, I saw like 
20,000 violent heads into the wall. I mean, that was hilarious. Okay. Okay, so let's see what happens. I think we're good now. Currently waiting. Well, I got fork. Waiting for an invite. There's my invite. I mean, that was just hilarious. That was how the way they crashed was just absolutely hilarious. I mean, whoo! That was hilarious. <laughs> God, they crashed so violently, bro. Yeah, look how many people we got in here now. So they're gonna get the order determined here. They're gonna have to set back up the order. Here. As a top shelf goes bing bong. <laughs> so yeah, we oh god, we got a good amount of people. Eleven. Eleven people in here. For the race. This race might get a little bit interesting. So just be careful folks. This race is about to get more violent. Are y'all waiting for somebody? At state, it's been on 11 for a minute. I'm ge I'm going to get on the formation lap. The formation lap. Hold up. Hold the phone real quick. The formation lap. Really? We've never ran that ever in UPS history. A formation lap. <laughs> My gearbox will go. <laughs> oh. Okay, here we go. It's gonna be interesting as we're eating, as I'm eating some banging lasagna. Sorry, this 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 race will be nothing but lasagna. Me versus the league, except Chris and Jan. <laughs> okay. Mm. So we're loading in. I'm going to have 11 racers here today. And it should be a fun one. Here in Monaco. So we're loading in. There's, uh, this is definitely going to be interesting to see how everybody makes through turn, turn one here. Because turn one is about to be the funniest place that we're about to hit all day. So here we go. I'm going to be going green here from Monaco. Everybody's picking their strategies. Everybody's reducing their fuel. I'm eating my lasagna. That's my strategy. My strategy is to commentate and eat lasagna. Very hot lasagna. Very good lasagna. But it's lasagna. Mm. Now here we go. Lights out. And away we go. From Monaco. Good start here. Heading in the one. Oh, whoa. What is the Williams doing? The Williams just tapped the wall. Already five seconds, severe collision with King Caesar for Max TT. But here we go with MC out front, followed by Chan, followed by Bear Down. This has been an interesting start. Top shelf has fallen down. Oh, 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 this is not good. This is going to be tight. Too wide. Oh, 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 God. Oh, oh, God. Yeah, parking lot. <laughs> Parking lot in the hairpin. Is there's your strategy? Um, powered by AWS. Um, yeah, that was a very interesting 
uh, you know, a hairpin. I wouldn't expect everybody to go that, that w too wide in the hairpin. There we go. It's right now MC in the lead. Followed by Chance. Chan gets loose. That's going to suffer with him. Bat oh, and he goes wide into the wall. Already problems on lap one. And lap one is going to be led by MC. Already Max TTV is going to have to, or TT is going to have to pit. Sniper Hyper is going to be decently good right now in that ninth spot. Caesar is eighth. Rowdy TJ Boy is in this four-pack group. Oh, God, this is not looking good. I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh, somebody's wings right there. Oh, it's the Ferrari. NV headfirst into the wall. I don't like this. Nah, I don't like this one bit. I don't like how when everybody gets grouped together like this, yeah, I just don't like it. <laughs> Stuff is about to happen, and it's not about to happen well, okay? Let's just get that fact. Is, is already MC has pulled away 4.8 second lead. That is insane. I mean, the man is just fast. The man is fast. Caution Sector 2. It's looking like a Ferrari or Red Bull. Looking like the Ferrari, though. His MC is. It looks like, yeah, a couple cars. Chan's got to come down. Bear Down's got to come down. Caesar's got to come down. Heavy wing damage. Already has smoke. Oh, interesting. I didn't expect smoke. Let's see, um... You know, position changes from the start of the race, plus five for Rowdy TJ Boy, plus five for Sniper Hyper, minus four for Redneck, minus four for Chan, minus four for Bear Down. Already problems to start out this race for a couple of drivers. Caution Sector 3. Looks like we got some trouble in the sector. Don't know what the trouble is. There is the tire compounds. Currently, everyone is on. This race already interesting start of the race. For a lot of these drivers, as I'm moving my mic so I don't get lasagna on my mic. I want my lasagna. Mm. Good bow right there by uh, No Dad Chan, though. Getting the, oh, Max TT, TT is already DNF. Will that bring out a safety car? It's right in Sector 1. Nobody's in Sector 1 right now. There's only one car, and that's the leader. Oh, Jagged Loose. But, yeah, the leader's coming up into the Sector now. Yeah. Yeah, they still haven't thrown out the caution, which is interesting. So, so no safety car. It's Max in his debut, not going to end well. So let's see what happens now. MC is out to a nine second lead. I mean, the closest battle. This is about for second right now. CEO car in the Ferrari, Rowdy TJ in the McLaren. Already, this race has already been chaos and chaotic. Lap one. See, as they're going through the final uh, corners right now. DRS is enabled. Yes, yeah, they're going through right now. This has been a good, a good, uh, good race so far. All right, five laps in. MC's already 9.2 seconds out front. Sniper Hyper's in fourth. Uh, he's got Diesel far away from this battle. But this battle for second is going to heat up a little bit. This, this track is just so tight, man. It's so difficult because it's so tight. Everybody's going to have an issue with this this track today. So 
So let's see what happens. Mm. So right now, this is the top two battle. Right now, it's basically a battle for second unless MC wrecks it. Oh, and there's Sniper. Sniper's got a decent gap to Jonah. Which, oh, look at this pack. You got Caesar. You got Jonah. You got Bear Down. Looks like you got Chan in the background. Redneck. And then Top Shelf. Yeah, Top Shelf's in 10. Top Shelf's just going to have to survive. Everybody survives. This is a basically a race of survival. You know, just, just imagine, you know, being a plane crashed on a desert island. And you guys got to fight for survival. This is what the track, that Monaco is. It's the survival racing of F1s. We got call oh, problems for Caesar. Hard and nose first in the wall. Chan's in the pits. Problems for Mercedes. No wing on the Red Bull. This race has gone worse for the Red Bull. I mean, Red Bull's struggling today. Definitely. All right. Problems for Caesar. Problems for uh, Top Shelf. You know, a lot of problems already coming out of these Red Bulls. Not good. I mean, it's bad. It's bad for Red Bull, definitely. Back to this battle. I'm bored with uh, Bear Down. Trying to figure out a way around Jonah. This is also a struggle of this track. There's nowhere to pass, really. So it's going to be a question of what do you do here. It's a very big struggle, as you can see. Caution Sector 2, it looks like. Oh, MC had some issue. See, he lost the... Uh, oh, yeah, he lost quite a bit of time. So, issues for MC. Now, issue for uh, Redneck. Gonna fall. Now, they've gotten on Sniper. Sniper's gonna let him buy. Uh, not a good spot to let somebody buy, but I guess it works. Three second time penalty for uh, Redneck already. I mean, this track has just been difficult. It's been tough. Already, it's already shown no no prisoners here. Well, let's see what happens, though. And now we're getting, uh, you know. So there goes Jono. Jono's still trying to play some defense here. As MC has pitted, CEO car is going to go to the lead. Good job. Caution sector one. We got a problem with a Red Bull up here. Looks like top shelf. What was that? Oh, yep. Top shelf. Spins out. Problems for the Red Bull. There's Redneck. So CEO car is the leader. He's got a company behind him. In the form of this McLaren who is still is on the tail of the of the Ferrari. CEO car is trying his best. Right now, the way they have battled, you know, it's been very interesting. You know, McLaren, Ferrari, you know, it's definitely going to be a difficult race for everyone. You know, so far, they have not made the, uh, the mistakes that everybody else has. And, you know, that's a good thing. You don't want to make mistakes, especially here at Monaco. You definitely don't. Thing is, it also means no time penalties, no crashes, no damage. Can't overdrive a corner, can't understeer a corner, can't cut a corner. I all always just struggles. Is 
<laughs> Rednecks go, uh, be going 10 miles an hour through every corner, <laughs> says Top Shelf. And then F, F, C, E, L, basically. <laughs> God. Damn, already. Yeah, we told y'all we have beef. We got, we got the same amount of beef that's in this delicious lasagna. Mmm. You know, CEL? Oh, CEL's guy. <laughs> Dude, Rowdy. Rowdy was all over the rear bumper. Somebody just went spinning. It's a Ferrari. That's Redneck. Problems for Redneck. Redneck's been having issues with this track since day one. So I'm not going to lie. Right now, we currently have a good battle going on here for first. Hmm. Oh, Redneck's retired, yeah. Is that going to bring out a safety car? That's kind of in the... In the peak of three. Or in sector three. That looks like one of the final corners. And that is a very tight section, so... Probably no safety, no safety car right now. Not even a virtual right now. right now hmm yeah his car's right there this is the McLaren's coming in yeah I think the McLaren suffered a little wing damage so yeah he's gonna have to come in very smart move though you know realizing you have a wing damage you know don't want to don't want to cause more damage to the car just bring it in it's early on put some hards on it I put another set of mediums on it and just come in for softs next stop, but or hards, depending how long you can go on mediums. But right now, as he's coming out of the pits, this has been a wacky race, guys. This race has been interesting. CEO car up front, followed by the red, uh, followed by MC. But here's a Red Bull right now that's struggling. Top shelf. C's are also struggling, surprisingly struggling. That's how chaotic uh, Monaco can be. You know, even some of the best in the league struggle here. You know, they can never be really consistent. Chan having some problems as well as put him back in seventh. Sniper Hyper in sixth. Then you got Bear Down in fifth. Rowdy, who just came out of Pair on fourth, looking to see if he can get around Jonah here. Let's go on board with Rowdy. Rowdy right now is just sitting right behind him. Oh, he got to the inside. Oh, this is going to be tight. Oh, I think Jonah just gave up the spy. Yeah, he did. Smart move. Smart move. Keep your car intact. That was a very smart move. You got to keep your car intact, and that's what he did. I like the move. Being smart, that's what's going to help you win here at Monaco. It's just being smart. Don't make stupid moves. Don't make stupid mistakes. I mean, that was a good, good, good job there. Sniper Hyper is currently on 10 lap softs. Um, <laughs> CEO car currently on, uh, still on his mediums. You can see the majority of the field right now currently on either hards or mediums. Either they crashed and they got wing damage, just came in, threw on whatever tire, or put on hard so they can go all the way if they don't make mistakes. And then, you know, you still got people that are on tires that they started the race with. Like, you know, Sniper Hyper and CEO Car. And I think that's because they either haven't made mistakes or they've just been able to run their race so far, which is pretty good. You know, it's definitely going to be interesting. Monaco is going to be that track where it's going to be chaotic. Oh, if, if you can have just somewhat some subtlety, you know, you should be fine. There he goes. TJ, Rowdy TJ, 113-028. It's going to put him fastest lap of the race right there. Put him on that uh, fastest lap train. 
<laughs> currently I'm this lasagna is too good. <laughs> Yep. So right now, Jonah and she taking it easy. Rowdy, he did uh undercut. Is this gonna be the undercut for him? Kind of question. He's odd, soft, uh, fresher mediums. Now, now is this gonna be that question? Is the uh, undercut gonna work to get him out front when uh CEO carpets? Oh wow, just a little slide there by McLaren. McLaren over there doing power slides like MC and qualifying. I mean MC and qualifying, I still don't know how you know he didn't, you know, crash after power sliding to that corner. We're gonna see if we can get a word with Redneck real quick. See if we can get a word him and see what his incident was today that caused him to DNF. So as we're currently going through, see if he's out of the infield care center, you know, infield care center. Well, as right now they're currently still running around. Just right now. Uh, is there a battle? Oh, Chan, Sigizer. These two got beef. You know, last race we were talking about it. You know, these two have beef from um, Chan's last lap dive bomb for trying to get the win at least. Oh. Uh, they got some a little bit of beef going on. They're gonna uh, let's see what happens here. Is they're kind of close to each other battling. This this beef could overspill right here on the track, especially a track that you really can't pass at. There we go. Oh, Chan gets a little loose. Rear tires didn't hook up well. Here we go. DRS. Caesar wise enough. Oh, top shelf is retired. Out of the race. Sad thoughts right there. Is that going to be a safety car? Because according to this, it's in two sectors. Will safety car come out? It's now everybody that's in points are going to be getting points today. So far, still no safety car. Yeah, still no safety car. And the incident has been cleared, so. No safety car. No safety car will fly. It's now. CEO has gone down pit lane. And now. MC will go to lead, followed by Rowdy TJ. And Jonah's actually going to take that spot. So, yeah, CEO staying out way too long. Going to put on sauce. Stayed out way too long. Oh my god. Season. We were talking about beef. Well, we're about to get beef. <laughs> Top Shell says, I don't care. I hate Monaco. <laughs> wow. Well, that is words from uh, Top Shelf himself. Oh, that kind of right. Top Shelf himself. Um, see what happens here for the rest of this race now. Oh, caution sector three. And top shelf just got hit with the um with the night bot special. <laughs> Cause right now, this top shelf says bring on the barbecue. <laughs> right now King Caesar still trying to bow with Chan here Chan has been you know I, I think Caesar has been a little bit faster it's just we've seen Caesar 
be almost underneath Chan's car a couple times through. Oh, he hits, oh, he hits that little piece of the armco. Oh, he's going to keep it going. Wow. Top shelf, I'm probably getting kicked from Red, Red Bull, but I don't care. Wow. Top shelf already. Thinking the worst for himself. There's no other battles on the racetrack except for this one. So we're just going to keep on this one unless Rowdy can catch up to um, MC. Which is definitely looking like a possibility. So. Is that that battle's going on? Sniper Hyper's a lap down. Here we go. Let's go on board with the Red Bull. See this battle. I'm getting out of the infield care center. Okay, well. We're going to have to take a little break from this battle then. Oh, God. Okay, this is not going to end well. Oh, my God. He is on the... Oh, he sends him! Oh, my God. Well, uh, we talked about Imola. And, uh... You know, we talked about Imola. And I guess that was a little bit of payback right there. Wow. Well, ain't that, wasn't that a little bit of a, a little bit of an exciting one right there, wasn't that? <laughs> God. That was just interesting, is now we're here with uh, Top Shelf, as uh, Top Shelf is now out of the infield care center. As all, we got close battle, wheel to wheel contact for about third, as CEO's going to take third. Uh, Redneck, you got a copy there, buddy? Oh, uh, yeah. Wrong guy again. Uh, he mistaken me for Ferrari. Well, um, you know, top, uh, top shelf, you know, um, you know, get, make sure your audio's included, but, you know, tough day again, um, getting, uh, DNFing two races in a row. This Chan is DNF'd out of the race now. Um, crash two races in a row. T uh, tell us what's your thoughts right now. Um, you know, what's going on? Um, honestly, I knew going into Monaco, I'm going to suck. I knew it. I did three quick practice laps before the race. And I knew, um, what do you call it? I knew I was going to have pace. So I was just trying to survive. And then, of course, Redneck and I, we were playing bumper cars the entire time after I pit for a front wing on, like, lap two or whatever. And then he's going, like, ten miles an hour brake testing me. It, it just got excessive, and then when he ra the only reason why DNF was in to Rask as he used to throttle me, thinking he could DNF me. And then um, when I DNF, I just had no wing, and I was just on the brakes and trying to make the corner. But honestly, m maybe these next few races will be better. Um, honestly, I'd, if I get kicked from Red Bull, I really don't care. If I'm whatever team I will be on, not. Hopefully I'll get better results for them and all that. So, and I got a good string of races coming up. Yeah, as we're sitting here with the bow for the lead right now, um, tell us, you know, Monaco, you said you didn't like the track anyway. You had problems with CEO car going into the race. Um, tell us, you know, is there, is there going to be any thoughts going into the next race of y'all, uh, Difficulty here, and then your problem with CEO going on now with Redneck. Yeah, it looks like you're making a lot of enemies out there. Yeah, honestly, ever since um, Emma, uh, all what happened. I've been just getting hated and shit. I mean, I don't care. They can hate all they want. It's just that both races in a row. I mean, I did stay away from CEO. We almost went step by step to a corner, but I fell on back out. That was the main reason why I broke my leg. It was not his fault. I was just trying to be safe, be away from him, all that, and then I pit just to drop all the way back, and then of course I was catching up to Redneck, he turned right, I mean, um, I'm not complaining about anything I know, I'm hated, but I really, thing is, I'm just getting DNF'd, cause, you know, hatred, I really honestly don't care, 
it's just that, you know, back-to-back -back races, I've had problems with, you know, Ferrari, LP, and all that, but I mean, it's whatever, I mean, it's, you know, part of racing. Yeah, it's, um, it looks like uh, CEO just pit it again here, but, um, you know, uh, well, good luck uh, next week, that's all I can say, and hopefully you can uh, turn, your, uh, turn something around here. Yeah, thank you. No problem is we're going to see if we can get another person out of the infield care center here. Let's see if we can get Chan in here. Well, I got the bow for the lead. The bow for the lead's kind of intensified. McLaren is all over this Aston Martin. I mean, it is he's all over him right now. You know, I don't know if we're, if we're going to get a, a interview from Chan or not. Here's this race is uh, starting to wind down. It's lap 22 out of 39, so we've passed halfway. Um, this race has already been a surprise to a lot of us today. So this race has been very interesting from the start. Let's just see what happens here, because it's definitely going to be a big problem here for uh, a couple cars here. Especially, especially when it comes to passing. So this is where the McLaren either, you know, you're going to need to do something here. You know, got to take advantage of a mistake. But you know what? You don't want to be an idiot and force your way in. You want you want him to make that mistake. He makes a mistake here. You can get underneath him. You can get around him. That's what you really want if you're McLaren. But, you know, with the way this race has gone... You know, passing seems almost impossible. Unless you either move a guy out of the way, or you absolutely, um, or you absolutely make your own gap, or somebody takes makes a mistake. So it looks like, you know, uh, just to be safe, if I'm if I'm McLaren, I let this race behind MC. You, you're not really sure if he's going to make a mistake. Just pressure him. Just put the pressure on him, and he can absolutely make a mistake. You can force him into a mistake. Just pressure him. So, let's see what happens. Yeah, he's putting the pressure out on him, too. Like, this is... He's putting the pressure on. He's definitely close, you know. It looks like, you know, that McLaren needs to be better in a couple corners, but otherwise, you know, he's put the pressure on the Aston Martin. That's all you can really do, you know. All right, right now, uh, the McLaren, he, I think he just needs to get better in a couple corners. I think he's struggled as Caesar has just put down the fastest lap of the race. But, you know, just keep pressuring Aston Martin. Keep pressuring him. Oh, that was close. Is uh, Aston or Aston Martin's gonna come down pit road? Probably throw on the mediums because the softs are not gonna be able to make it. Definitely until the end. So you're gonna have to put on mediums here, which he will. This could be an undercut strategy here. It's just gonna depend whether or not uh, the McLaren can make it all the way on his mediums. So it's MC's coming out. Yeah, and he's going to have clean track, too. He can, he's not going to worry about anybody coming near him as Bear Down speeding on pit lane. Five-second penalty for him. This race, you know, just has not had, not had, the, um, not had what they've wanted today. And, you know, now it's kind of calm now because everybody's spread out. It's very spread out right now. It's no, nobody's really battling right now. Nobody's really contending. You know, you can see MC there on uh, on track doing his best right now. Seeing if he can you know, work that undercut. Uh, he was out front. But the thing is, when when the McLaren pits, he's definitely going to come in for soft. So, you know, it's all oh, he's in now. And he's putting on so Oh, Wow. And he's going to have to serve a... Oh, mate. I thought he had to serve a little time penalty. He didn't. So, very interesting move. 
Because now there goes Aston Martin. Thing is, Sauce, I don't think, can make it all the way. Um, I'm not sure on the strategy call. I'm not. I'm not really sure what the plan is here. That's kind of the thing. He, he, I think he just kind of prematurely pitted. You know, he's going to have to go out there for 15 or so laps on Sauce. I don't know what the strategy is here, but it's very confusing for McLaren. I think they have just pulled probably the wrong strategy of this race. Unless he can pull away. Unless he can get past Aston Martin, pull away from Aston Martin, and then pull enough gap to where when you pit the second time, Aston Martin's not right there. So... That's literally the only way I can really explain it. Any other way, I don't know. I, uh, this is actually kind of confusing. I am not going to lie. I don't understand the strategy here. So here we go. As he's on the softs. He's currently on the main straight. Did not get DRS that time, but did get a fast sector three. Thing is, he did have to switch tire compounds. I do have to say that he had to. He, he started on mediums and, you know, just didn't didn't work well. So he started on mediums, went to mediums again, and then went to softs here. So, you know, if I can already tell you, you know, he, he, he already had to go to softs or hards. But the thing is, hards can make it all the way to the end. It's just mediums versus hards was not going to work. Uh, you know, I guess, I guess... The softs are the right call, but you know, it, you know, if you could have stayed out there for a little bit longer, you know, maybe we can be sitting here looking at it from a different point of view, you know. Because if he pitted this lap, I think there's a slim chance he can make it on softs. But you know, if he can't make 15, oh, a little tap of the wall there by MC. A little, a little, a little tap. Little tap tap, little tappy tap, little tippy tap tap into the tappy wall. Oh, MC, yeah, you can see the sparks flying out from the car when he's he's on the uh on that uh low on the ground. You can see it. So as the the race is winding down, you know you got around 14, 13 to go. Actually, 13 to go. Next time we'll be coming to 12. And then we'll be coming to 11, then 10. So, the way this race is unfolded, it's going to come down to Rowdy, TJ, and MC for the win. Unless something happens to MC or Rowdy, which I think Rowdy's going to have to pit another time. Just because I don't think the softs are going to make it all the way. Unless he kind of conserves it. But, it, you know, it, it's still kind of, still kind of a stretch. You know, it's still kind of a stretch here. Now... Now, otherwise, we've had no safety cars. We've had five cars DNF, no safety car all race long. Actually, four cars. Four cars DNF, no safety car all race long. And now we're sitting here with about coming to 12 to go. And we're about to have probably a battle for the win here. Which may or may not involve some beating and banging. Okay, we've had some finishes this season where we've had a last lap move a last lap dump a last lap send we've had the closest finish of UPS history we had last race at Imola with a dive bomb a dive bomb for the win didn't work Joseph came out oh MC goes wide that's the mistakes I was talking about it's like I said if you're the McLaren just pressure him you don't want to force it and damage your car you know, if you're lucky, if you damage your car, you damage his. But, you know, at the end of the day, we're look, you got to look at it here. Is, yeah, that was not a good bus stop. See, the thing is, and that's where MC can really fly is through that bus stop. Because he can keep a straight exit, you know. He can keep a very good straight exit. So, MC gets loose. Oh, yeah, McLaren had to go wide. He didn't want to run into the rear end of the Aston Martin. So, good call. As, you know, you can also see, you know, McLaren's not even using ERS. He's not even using it. He hasn't touched it. 
the thing is, I think you're going to have to touch that. You're going to have to touch your ERS at some point. Thing is, is when? When do you touch that ERS? When do you use it? And I think he's got to start using it on that DRS straight. If he can use it, close the gap, maybe, maybe can make a move. You know, then we're talking different. You know, then we're talking maybe a close, a closer gap. You know, but right now the way he's driving, he hasn't like there we go, a little tap, a little tap of that ERS right there. But I think that's the only tap he does. Because I haven't seen that thing really green up, green light lit up much. Oh, he's closer this time. MC's got some pressure now. Yeah, just apply the pressure. Just keep applying that pressure, though. Keep applying it. You know, do your best. DRS, use your ERS. Use it right here. No, he's not using it. Again, missed opportunity. Missed opportunity. You could have actually... I think he could have made a move in the one. If he just maybe even tapped that ERS just a little bit. I mean, he didn't even use it. I mean, I don't know what he's saving. Like, you're, you're, you're 10 to go. You got to win on the line here. And you got to survive... 10 laps on softs and you're already five laps on your softs mc can make it the rest of the way like he has to just save those mediums for maybe a lap or two and he can go on and win this thing as well but you're you're in a situation just pressure the man make a peek make a move or something he's pressuring but it's like he's not wanting to make a move but we're starting to get into the race where you, you're going to have to make your move. It's all oh, a little slowdown. Yeah, they're not, a good, not a good lap time that time. Cross pit line exit. White line. So, yeah. So, uh, basically, pit lane exit violation. He just lost a lot of time that lap, though. Thing is, this is the only battle on the racetrack, guys. So, right now, we're focusing on this. We're on board. MC was currently out front. He's got basically uh, roughly under a second lead. He's had a great, uh, he's had an up and down race. He was in third for a lot of the last run, and now he's in here in first. And, you know, he's pulled a strategy after having a little problem uh, early on in the race. But the, I don't know what the McLaren's doing. You're going to have to start using. Because this is where MC's pulling you. He's using his ERS. Yes, it, he's low. Yeah, he's low on ERS. Yeah. But he's starting to pull on you. And those softs are starting to get a little bit worn out. Looks like, uh, oh, bear down is DNF. Will that bring out a safety car? I mean, we've had no safety car. Oh, my God. Oh, TJ, I think. Did TJ get involved in that? Oh, yeah. He lost a lot of time, though. I think he had to dodge it. Yeah, Caesar's retired, too. Is that going to be a safety car? I mean... Oh, McLaren's lagging. Yeah, the McLaren's lagging. That's where he's losing time. So, you guys don't know... When you lag in this game, you kind of stay stationary uh, to the game. You stay stationary to where you are. It's like if you basically froze on the racetrack. Uh, so, and that's what happens when you lag. And now he's losing a lot of time. He's also got worn softs. He doesn't have... He hasn't used the right stuff to really, really reel in the leader. He just hasn't, you know... He's been close, but the thing is, he just hasn't been able to have enough smarts to make a move. You know, he's been pressuring. He has, He's had chances to make a move. It's just he just doesn't use his ERS. I mean, and that's what's really bit him right now is that he didn't use his ERS when he should. The reason why MC is currently faster than him is because he uses his ERS. McLaren does not. So that is the big factor right now. Even though MC's low on his ERS, the the McLaren's ERS, you know, he just hasn't touched it. Like you'll see laps where he just hasn't even he hasn't even clicked on it. 
you know. He's just absolutely saved it up, and that's what's biting him. But right now, out front, Aston Martin. It's Aston Martin's doing an awesome job right now. Up front, in the lead. What can this Aston Martin, can he hold on? The thing is, no mistakes. He won pole in a barn burner of a lap. And now he's sitting here with about seven coming to six to go this time. Is he going to have a chance? And he's going to have a chance to win it. Yeah, he's definitely going to. He's definitely got a big lead now. McLaren is falling off the pace. And, you know, all, all, all Aston Martin needs to do is take it easy. So if, if Aston Martin can take it easy, I think Aston Martin can go ahead and be fine. He's going to win. He's got mediums. He can last longer. He's got six laps to go. You know, he's got the mediums. He can last longer. But, um, yeah, this race, interesting. CEL car currently has, uh, I think, the final, final podium spot. But that could be up for debate with the time penalty he has to Jonah so you know yeah so the time penalty he has to uh, is I think three seconds let's go ahead and look at see if it is three seconds yeah it is three seconds so Jonah just needs to get about a second well uh, 1.3 seconds 1.4 seconds to uh CEO CEO's time and you know he'll get that spot but yep Let's see Aston Martin holding it down. He's going to be coming the five laps remaining this time. What a lap. What a race this uh, Aston Martin has had. He's been out front. He's absolutely dominated this race. What a job by MC. As there we go. Five laps remaining here for Monaco. For the Monaco Grand Prix. What a race it has been. Here, Monte Carlo. Oh, getting a little loose right there. So now that gap's extended to five. Sniper Hyper with a fifth, a fifth place. Yeah, he's lapped down, but you know, just uh, just him being careful and him being well. Is, oh, we got caution. Sector two. It looks like CEO with a problem. CEO with an issue. That's going to play his, uh, now his third place in jeopardy now. Because he's going to get uh, Jonah is now under his time penalty limit. So right now with Jonah being 1.6 behind CEO. That's going to be a battle for the final podium spot. Oh, MC getting loose. That's what you don't want to see. Take it easy, man. Man's got to take it easy. The man's trying to put down blistering lap times and everything. But you got about three seconds, man. Just wind the car down just a little bit. Just kind of kind of slow down, slow the car down. Take your time. Be easy. You know, if he starts pushing, he's going to wreck himself. But with four remaining. Here's the battle. Sniper Hyper is on pit road. Here's the battle for the final podium spot. Right now, that spot currently goes to Jonah because that three seconds, unless the three seconds don't count, which I haven't been told anything about it. And now the gap is extended to about 4.6 from the from T, uh, Rowdy TJ to MC. Here we go. We're looking at Jonah. Jonah's already lost a lot of time. Now he's outside the bubble. But right now. In a beautiful night here in Monaco. This race is going to close down here. Coming to three laps remaining. And MC, you just got to just take it easy. Oh, he's got five seconds. As I thought he was about to hit that uh, corner right there. That wall kind of sticks out. Here we go. Three laps remaining. He goes up the... Up the track here. Oh, 
wanted corners. Good corners. That's all you need. You just need to have some solid corners here. You got to give it up for the McLaren, though. This this man has laid down the lap times he's needed. He's laid down everything to get second here today. Honestly, his best performance so far. Second place. It's, not, it's nothing to bow your head, you know, but... You know, I think he's now just worried about saving softs, making sure. But he's got, like, 51 seconds. So, unless he's hoping maybe MC makes a mistake or something, you know, maybe maybe he can seal a win. But it's definitely just not going to be enough, though. I think, I think McLaren's going to fall short today. CEO, um, third, survival. He was up front bound for the lead, but had a little incident. Had a horrible strategy, too. He pitted for mediums. He actually, no, he pitted for softs and then pitted for mediums and didn't gain any ground. He pitted two times before the leaders made his second stop. So, you know, he made two stops in between the leaders' first and second stop. So that's what's really costed him time today. Jonah, um... You know, he tried his best. Fourth place is going to be a pretty good day for him. Maybe he'll take back the... Oh, and he goes around. Not what you want to see. And Sniper Hyper, you know, just survivals is going to get him P5 today. What a day is. And through here, Jonas crashed and mingled race car. This MC is all oh, once again. Oh, wing going everywhere. Is it's going to help this go down. Is here we go through the final corners. And we're going to come to the white flag. One lap remaining for the Monaco Grand Prix. What a race it has been. Once again, a race where, you know... No safety cars, even though we should have had probably about three of them today. But, um, you know, good job um, by, by MC. This is, he's just got to take it easy for one more lap, and he'll get his second win of the season. He won Jetta. He won the opener. And uh, he went to the second race, struggled there, came back for sixth in that race uh, at Abu Dhabi. And then didn't race for a couple of races and then comes back here, race seven. He's going to go ahead and take a win. Unless something happens in this final sector, he's got it in the bag. Here we go through the final corners. And he's easily going to win. Out of the final corner. Big win for MC. He's going to get his second win of the season. MC is going to win at Monaco. Rowdy TJ with an amazing effort. Second place for that McLaren. As he's doing his little happy celebration there. CEO car. He's got to make it around. Here and he's going to take home third. Good podium today for the Ferrari. Ferrari would have made... Oh, he's going to crash out, actually, because he knows Jonah cannot pass him. Oh, actually, actually, he's not DNF'd out yet. Now he's DNF'd out. He's going to finish third, though. Um, and Sniper Hyper. Second race as he slaps the wall and crashes it. For good measure, he's going to finish the race backwards. Please finish the race backwards. Please finish the race backwards. No. Yeah, I want him to finish the race backwards. As he's going to come across the line. As MC is going to win here today at Monaco. What a race. What a job there. Here we go. Going to invite your top three. Rowdy TJ with the... uh. Driver of the day. And then CEO. 
car. It's where you invited your podium. Um, here should be uh should be uh in here shortly. There's MC. Your winner, he's in here. Uh, we're currently waiting for the other two. See, um, I think Rowdy's in here. Yeah, Rowdy's in here. So all we got away is for CEO car, and there he is. And good, good race here from Monaco today. Is going to go ahead and interview your top three, your podium here today. As you can see, the podium walking out right there. I'm going to go ahead and interview CEO car, who rounds out today in third. Um, for a good run today, CEO car, you got copy. Make sure you got it yep. included. What a what a podium today, man! You you were up front for most of the race, um, and then took a weird, very odd strategy there. Um, tell us, you know, what was going through your mind with the strategy call there, um, and what happened there that kind of costed you a bunch of time. Wing damage. Wing damage. Okay. Well. Um. Well, okay. Well, you know, you uh, you've had a good uh, good race, solid race so far. Um, you know, we've we we known the rivalry so far between you and Top Shelf going on right now. Top Shelf's got beef with you. You got beef with Top Shelf. Uh, tell us, you know, what's what is this a good response here, um, here in Monaco, uh, especially after the horrible Imola they had. Yep. I think. Uh, we put everything together without making a mistake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then um, you know, we want to touch on this. You know, you've uh, you've had a pretty good uh, uh, decent season so far, except for the DNFs and of course your problems with Top Shelf that you have. Uh, you've had a pretty decent season. Tell us, you know, what's going to be the expectations going in the next couple of races here, um, and seeing if you can get some wins here after this podium. Yeah, trying to limit the mistakes, uh, try to keep getting podiums, be consistent, and try to not get uh, wrecked. Okay, well, um, congratulations on your third, and uh, we wish you good luck next Grand Prix. Yep. Okay, now we're going to go to second for a first-time podium here today for Rowdy TJ. Going to get his first podium in his UPS career today. Roddy, you got a copy there, buddy. Make sure your audio is included. Yep, my audio is included. Okay, what a what a good run for you today, man. Uh, you know, great run. Stay, uh, was clean all race long. I made a couple mistakes there. What could you need right there to get past MC? See if you can have a shot at the win. Uh, well, she... Uh, some by the tires, I guess. I felt like the car was pretty fine. Uh, if the tires didn't fall off, uh, who knows? Maybe I could have gone for it, but it's Monaco. It's kind of hard to get around people here. It was. It looked like you had a couple opportunities to pass them, especially when um, MC, you got within at least four tenths, but we noticed you didn't use your ERS whatsoever, uh, especially on the DRS tray. Was there any issue you were having with DRS today, or you know, just didn't feel like using it? Just didn't feel like losing it. Okay. Well, um, but good run uh, today. You're gonna get a second place. Tell us, you know. What's going to be the expectation now going into the, these couple of races here? See if you can get uh, maybe more podiums, maybe a win, maybe some solid runs here. Get yourself up in points. Uh, I'm expecting to be up front uh, and get some like decent points, like top fives or something. Uh, hopefully I can be competitive for the wins, for victories. I'm not sure what the next race is, so I can't tell you if I'll be good there or not. But yeah, yeah. Oh. top fives. Yeah, top fives will definitely be the goal. Well, congratulations on your podium, man, and we wish you good luck in the next race. Thank you. Okay, MC. Okay, today, are you got Mike, buddy, or we got to do Instagram again? Uh, back on Instagram. Oh, God. <laughs> 
At this point, I should not just invite... I should not invite him to the Xbox party. I should just, like, call him immediately. I mean... I swear to God, I gotta call this man every time he wins or gets podium because he doesn't have a mic on him. Um, Instagram. See, where is Mr. MC? There's Mr. MC. And call. Okay. I'm going to try and get MC on the line here for his interview. As there he goes, as here is MC, your winner today here at Monaco. MC, you got a copy there, buddy? Yep. Well, what a job getting the win here today. Um, you know, getting your second win of the season. Tell us, you know, what was the strategy there? Because it looked like you had some trouble. Um, early on, was the hard, putting on the hards there really helping you get back in contention for this race? All right. So first of all, I my main plan was just like keep it clean, not win the race. And then I think it was like lap ten, I did not keep it clean. So I went to go get mediums, but the game put me on hards because apparently mediums are the new hards. So then anyway, I saw other people making the same mistake, and when I saw the McLaren was still on the mediums, I said, all right, I know we used to pit one more time, and I want to get off these hard tires. So I pitted for mediums, right? Uh, I short pitted him so I could stay ahead, and then once the soft started to wear off, I could just take it easy and get the W. Yeah, it was a good, uh, stra- it was good I guess, accidental strategy call then, going on the hearts. <laughs> but, um, yeah. you know, it really helped you get back into the race. And then, you know, you ran, uh, you know, got pole, you know, second win this season, you know, you're looking at, again, both your wins this season starting from pole, um, you know, getting the pole at Jetta and then getting the pole here today. Tell us, what is uh, the, the uniqueness of these street courses that you like so much that it looks like you're, it's been your strong suit um, in these races? Uh, I can't get corner cutting penalties, so that's probably why I do so well. Okay, fair enough. Um, but yeah, you did a good job. Um, you know, and especially with Aston Martin. Aston Martin looks like uh, they're having. You guys are struggling making races. Um, and you know, with constructors right now, and also points and championship and anything. What's going to be the expectation going in for the rest of the season, trying to get yourself into that championship battle? Um, because we don't really show up much. I want to see if I can get Cali in the other seats. I know he'll show up months and uh, he'll show up and get some good points. But our like expectation right now in the top five instructors. Okay. Well, congratulations on your win, man. We wish you good luck right. uh, next. Thank race. you. No problem. Thank you. Is uh yep. That's going to end today's race here from Monaco. What a race! What a race indeed. Thank you, everybody, tuning in and watching. We'll see you guys um, for the next race, which I don't know what race 8 is, but if you are currently on Twitch right now, don't worry. In about a couple of minutes, we will be going for uh, FK Rod Ends and Fangola Racing League uh, pretty soon. Thank you, everybody, tuning in and watching. I'm Air Just Cause. We'll see you guys for the next race. Peace.